Hello everybody, Amazon has just released their AI coding companion called Amazon Code Whisperer. Now this is similar to the GitHub Copilot X, but what makes it stand out is that it is actually free for individual use. In this video, I'm going to go over how you can set that up on Visual Studio Code and get started today for free. And if this is your first time to my channel, I recommend you to go to my playlist section to find the videos that are relevant to you. So what exactly is Amazon Code Whisperer? Amazon Code Whisperer provides developers with real-time code suggestions that they can directly use inside their IDE. And IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. This is where you write your code. Now, while GitHub does have something similar and they just came out with their Copilot X, Amazon actually lets individual developers use Code Whisperer for free. If you look at their pricing page, they have this individual version of Amazon Code Whisperer that allows you to have unlimited code suggestions and also have up to 50 code security scans per month. This is another unique feature that Code Whisperer has which finds security vulnerabilities in your code. It of course has a professional version which is $19 a month per user which allows you to have a lot more security scans. As you see, both the individual and the professional tiers currently have no restriction on the number of inference requests per month. It's also important to know that these are currently the only languages it supports so if you don't code in these, you might not be able to use the Code Whisperer functionality. Also, the security scans currently only work with Python, Java, and JavaScript. All right, now let me get this installed on my IDE. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code today. Something to mention here is you don't really need an AWS account to set this up. All you need is something called AWS Builder ID, and I'm going to show you how to set that up right now. To get started, make sure you have your Visual Studio Code installed. And if you're not a programmer, I still recommend you to install this because here you can actually start learning how to code. And especially with tools like Amazon Code Whisperer, it's even easier to get started. So if you don't have Visual Studio Code installed already, come to this website called code.visualstudio.com and install the latest version based on your computer. If you have a Mac, you can just download the stable build right away. Or if you're using something else like a Windows system or Linux, you can get the downloaders from here. So after you have that installed, make sure your Visual Studio Code is the latest version. So if you click check for updates, it should say there's no more updates available. After that, click on this section on the left called extensions and search AWS Toolkit. Make sure to select the one which is from Amazon Web Services. It should have a verified icon called Amazon.com. After that, all you do is click install. After that, it should bring up this icon on the left called AWS and something in the bottom called Code Whisperer. Now, when you click on AWS, it should show a bunch of developer tools which are part of the AWS toolkit. And the one we're concerned about today is the Code Whisperer. So if you click on this arrowhead right here, it should show this button called Start. When you click Start, it should open up this window which says use a personal email to sign up and sign in with AWS Builder ID. And AWS Builder ID is a new personal profile for builders. All you do is to click on this link. This should open up a window called Copy Code from AWS Builder ID. And there's this button called Copy Code and Proceed. Just click on this blue button. Now that should prompt you to open up a link on an external website on your browser. Just click open. Now this opens up an authorization page from AWS on your browser and it says authorize request to sign in, enter the code provided by your application or device. This is basically connecting AWS with your IDE or Visual Studio Code. All you do is to go back to your Visual Studio Code and look in the bottom. There's a code right here which says hhvm-lbrb. So I'm just going to type that here and click next. This should open up this page which says create AWS Builder ID. All you need to do is to provide a personal email address or if you already have a Builder ID, just sign in right here. I don't have one, so I'm going to provide an email and click next. This will now prompt you to provide a name for your Builder ID. I'm just going to say testing AI and click next. After that, you should have received a verification code on your email. So it should look like this, which says verify your AWS Builder ID email address. I'm just going to copy the verification code and paste it back here and click verify. Now that your email has been verified, you need to provide a password so you can log in at a different time. Make sure to choose a strong one. Just complete the captcha and click create AWS Builder ID. 
All right, after that's done, it should show this message called allow AWS toolkit for VS code to access your data. This is basically where you're giving Amazon the permission to actually look at your code. Because if you're writing private code for a company and you're using Amazon AWS code whisperer, Amazon can actually read that code. So be aware that this is actually the step where you gave Amazon the permission to look at your private code. So click allow. All right, it says AWS Toolkit for VS Code can now access your data. You can close this window and your code whisperer is now ready to go. By default, auto suggestions are set to true. That means every time you start typing, it's going to give you suggestions. If you want to pause that, you can just click on this pause auto suggestions button right here. Now to make sure that it's working, I'm going to try out a small piece of code. Now, usually when you do programming, you do your code first and add the documentation later, or maybe you do the other way around, but that's how I did it. Instead, how about you start typing a comment with a dash dash? You're going to see that there's some recommendations already coming up. It says, given a string S, the task is to find the length of the longest substring with no more than K distinct characters. I'm actually going to request it to give me a function which gives me all the repeating characters in a string. So what I did right there was kind of a programming prompt. And I'm going to have a whole series coming up on how you can do better prompting in software engineering. Now with Amazon Code Whisperer, all you do is to type the word function because here I'm going to try to do just a function which returns me all the repeating characters and the function is going to take a string. So I'm just going to type the word function and wait for a second. You're going to see that the rest of the code is just suggested right on your compiler. So it says find repeating characters and taking a string as an input and it's going to parse through the string and then create a map and append all the items from that string which are repeating and you can just click accept right away and your code is done so my amazon code whisperer is working pretty well but maybe you want to do some coding yourself and don't want suggestions all the time all you can do is to come back to your aws console and click pause auto suggestions and now if you type function it's like you're back to normal world before ai existed and you have to type everything by hand but i think it's important to switch around with coding yourself and letting ai do the work for you because sometimes it might make mistakes and it also has code which is using from different kinds of sources so there might be copyright issues and i'm going to do a different video on how to find out where you can get the sources for the code that it's suggesting but that's all i have for today's video i hope you got some value from it if you did enjoy the video make sure to click a like button and subscribe to my channel till the next one thank you so much